Oh, heads up, boys. <laughs> yo, 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 yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one! Boy, how do I have a treat for you? Today, there's supposed to be five of us, and it's supposed to be uh, a little cold front moving in right now. So what we plan to do is to sit on the back of some tree rows. Hit them birds with that stiff north wind, let me tell you. Hopefully that's what it does. Hopefully it hits them and makes them get down. Your boy has been uh, really, really sick for the last few days. I've been down and out. I mean down and out. The whole family, this is the first day that the entire family has been healthy in over like five days. So... It's good to be back. I feel great. I'm ready to get back on the grind. I'm ready to kill some birds. Most of all, I'm ready to make some good videos. But before we get into today's video, I gotta tell you, the 10 days of Christmas. This is the last day today. And today, the duck's goose calls and the duck's duck calls are both 25% off on the duckswaterfowl.com website. Both the duck call and the goose call I will link down below in the description. I'll give you a little sound file. Here's the goose call. <laughs> Just a little sound file. Duck call. <laughs> Not bad. So if you guys want to pick one up, I will link both of these calls down in the description below. If you've been wanting one, today is your day to save some money. Also, we got thermal hoodies. They're made out of the same stuff the sweats are. So if you guys have the thermal sweats, you need to pick up one of the thermal hoodies because they are thick and they are warm. But I'm going to get on the road here. No more time to waste. We're going to have probably 50 dozen, at least 60 dozen decoys to set. So it's going to be an A-frame hunt on the side of a field. We're not going to be laying in the middle of it today, boys. Let's go. So it looks like the wind for today is just awesome. Looks like it's going to sustain between 17 and 21 mile per hour out of the north-northwest. That should be perfect for this tree row. Uh, we're going to sit off the tree row a little bit. I'm going to try to get us off the tree row. We're going to be in uh, A-frame blinds today. Uh, if you guys use A-frames a lot, drop a comment down below and say, yeah, we use them a lot. This is how we usually use them. Um, here in Kansas, I'm a little too uh, precautious. I'm a little too cautious to set these uh, A-frames in the middle of fields. I know you can brush them up real well and stuff, but I just I don't feel like wasting a whole hunt with the birds not liking it. So if you guys do that you know, down here in the Midwest at all, let me know in the comments down below. But the wind is awesome. I'm super excited for today. I'm really hoping that I'm really, really hoping this hunt works. Really hoping. Oh, the old rig. Check her out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still rocking the old rig. Old quick shop. Never gets old. Oh. I live in the beat I love. Oh. They just want to ride my way. You ain't never seen my boat. Right. Ooh, look at that. Pulling in the field. Check out the old trailer decal on there. Oh, boy. Well, we're all set up. It is crazy, crazy, crazy wind. And uh, we just smoked our first green head. Didn't even have a camera rolling. So it is right at shooting light. Full cloud cover today. Full overcast. Uh, conditions are looking gravy. First green head down, boys. <laughs> Ah, you son of a guns, they landed 80 yards out. Well, we landed four out there. Uh, we're going to loosen up this right side of the spread. As you can see, we got them really tight on the right side. A little bit of kill hole action going on right here where it dog legs out. So we're going to loosen up this right side, string them out a little more like they're landing and walking in. Uh oh, we got birds on the way. <laughs> So far on the left. I didn't either. Well, at least we killed one. Oh, well, we've been working the heck out of birds. I don't know what it is. I, it might just still be early, but um, they're getting to the tree row. They're staying a little high here, and we're just hammering on them. It seems like 
when they when they get to the tree rows, they stop. We just the more we the the more we wail on them, the closer we can get them to stay. But we can't get them to get lower. They'll come over the top and they'll drift over the top and stay over the top of us. But they do not want to put the feet down and land in the decoys. Darn it! So probably going to end up switching up the spread yet again here. Birds on the right. A lot of them coming from that way. Well, there they go over the trees again. <laughs> Take him. Oh my goodness, that was a big one. He's going down, boy, go down. Whoop, the ones that wanted to do it, they just came. Thank you very much. Woo! Didn't kill a bunch of them, but they did it. So pretty much like always, we always have a big old feed next to it. It seems like when we when we hunt in this general area, there's always gonna be a contending feeding field next to you somewhere. And that's what we have. We have a field north of us, uh, about a half a mile, three quarter of a mile, that is just absolutely stacked with, with darts. So, uh, and I mean stacked. So it is 10, 16 right now. That is the most committed group that we've had all day. And let me tell you what, Look how big that boy is right there. Him a big boy. Got you a big boy too? Yep. Big old daddies right there. That group wanted it. They did it awesome. Yeah, that was the best group all day by far. The best group by far. What you gotta say? They're doing it dirty. Oh, doing it all dirty. I actually found this field last night and the reason I found it was I followed a massive, massive wad of ducks. I mean a wad of ducks, like six, eight hundred thousand ducks. Not 800,000, 800 to 1,000 ducks. Let me get my verbiage right here. I uh, followed them here and there was a lot of snows here and uh, just seemed like from last night to this morning, this is an evening field. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna leave the A-frames up where they're at. We're gonna go have us some lunch. I'm gonna go upload a video for y'all real quick. We're gonna come back. We're gonna set all, all of my uh, Canada Sillows, all of my Canada Socks, make the spread a lot bigger, sit in the same spot tonight have two to three mojos going and give it a good whack on the old duckies because we only killed one today so we can still we can still kill a lot of ducks this evening so that's our plan we'll see you in a bit what are you doing man what's up this is the first time you've been on a hunt all year with me i know it took long enough yeah it took long enough gee it took long enough for you to get out of school no, stay in school, kids. Stay in school. This is Jackson. Lives right down the street, I think. What were you on? Two or three hunts last year? I think three. Two yeah. or three. They were good ones. Decent ones. I think one was really awful, though. Yeah. Yeah, one was real bad. Bunch of deeks. Not really Bunch of deeks. Birds. No birds on the ground. But today, this is the evening hunt. We reset the spread. Let me go show you what's up. Watch out, son. Watch out. Here we go. This is what we did. So, we added... 20 dozen Canada socks for some motion. And then we added uh, 10 to 15 dozen Canada sillos. And then here she is, this is the left side and it is just really, essentially one big mess, one big blob. Everything decently tight. We scattered the socks through it so we have really good motion throughout the whole spread. We hunted this morning in hopes that the birds from last night that were here would come and some of them did as you've seen. We shot, what was it, two, three honkers and one duck. The mallards that came here, did I seen dive in this field from seven miles east? Absolutely stacked in here. And I mean, there was, I don't know, there was probably 2,000 in here. So let's hope they come today. Let's hope. The conditions aren't really very different from yesterday afternoon, evening. So let's hope that it works. Oh, right over top. Right over top. <laughs> Shoot him. Shoot him. Woo there we go. We yeah. Them. Yeah, I think five we shot five out of them. Reload, boys. Dude, reload. <laughs> you got him? No band on that there, Greeny, huh? No band. Well, we're out here picking up ducks. We dropped like five or six of them. Totally just messed them up. That was awesome. Well, that was absolutely beautiful. Got us some greenies down, boys, in the evening. Yeah, buddy. That's what I've been waiting for right there. 
Oh man, that was that was good stuff. The greenheads just gave it up. That was the first group that came to the field. That that right there is why I wanted to hunt tonight. This morning didn't work out as well, but last night the ducks absolutely dumped into this field. The weather's a lot different, so I can guarantee you they're switching up a little bit. But that group, like they said, knew where they were going. They came here and they got down in a hurry. That was fun. <laughs> Should we kill the two? Let's try. Oh, heads up, boys. Catch it. Oh, that was so close. Well, we shot one. I was so that was about it. it. Yeah, you were like, heads up. I was like, why? <laughs> oh, geese on the right, boys. Smoke this one for sure when he gets here. That's a speck, isn't it? Smoke him. Nice shot. That was you. Was it? Yep, pretty sure that was you. Nice shot. Well, that's the one we wanted down. Oh, well, right now it's 4.55 sunset. Shooting light is 5.12. So, yeah, not much daylight here left. Not even, not even freaking 20 minutes. So, hopefully, hopefully we can at least shoot a couple more ducks before uh, sunset here. <laughs> Look at these two. Oh, look at them. One Shoot them. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Got him. Well, they, they, them boys right there are dead. Yes, sir. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. We came here tonight for the ducks, and the ducks are showing up. We only have like five minutes left. It's right at shooting light, and look at this right here. I'm standing up. Just loving it. Right at shooting light, sunset. He's still coming. Kabang! Yeah, boom! <laughs> he would have been toast. But that's all she wrote. I'm gonna go get the trailer and we're gonna start loading her up. Dude, dude, it's over! Goodness! Holy smokes, look how pretty that guy is. Let me see his back. Oh yeah, what a beaut. That's a pretty mallard right there. Oh man, my glasses are fogging up like usual, looking like a grandpa out here trying to unfog these bad boys. If you guys have any tips on how to keep my goggles from fogging, you know what to do. Drop a comment down below and let me know. Oh, but check it out. Not a crazy big pile today. So, seven ducks, a speck, and three Canada's. Not too bad, we uh, we uh, switched up the spread a bunch tonight, put out a lot more decoys, a lot more silos, and a lot more socks. The wind sustained decently, so those socks gave us some good motion that we didn't have this morning. But we had two of the other fellas, which you can't see, they're back here hiding in the dark. But thank you to the fellas for coming out and having an awesome little field duck hunt. The ones that came, they did it really freaking well. They gave it up. As you've seen, they came all the way up to the foot of that blind and then went sky high. And that's how we shot them ducks. What do you think, old shooter? Good hunt. It was decent. We don't have 20 birds on the ground. We don't have 30. It's a good little pile. I can tell you... Doing my local, you know, in the backyard type of hunting right by my house, this has to be probably one of the best ones. Like you guys seen last year, we stacked them up in this in this here territory we're at right now. To this year, it has been a complete struggle. So, got to uh, thank the guys for all the help. The full bodies were a pain in the butt to put up. Let me tell you what, the sillas and socks go up way faster. He's shagadelic. You can't see him back there, but he's been growing out his hair. How long you been growing out that mullet there? Oh, like freshman. Freshman year? You get it trimmed every once in a while. Yeah, trim it every once in a while. I need to trim my trim my main bat. I got the old mullet going. I'm not too proud of how long the top is. Gotta gotta put the party in back, make it all business in front. But but thank you for the guys. If you guys haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing with your life. If you like waterfowl hunting, you really need to subscribe. If you like this here video, you know what to do. Give your boy a big old thumbs up. And we will see you on the next one. I thank you guys so much for being here like always. <laughs>